you know, it's Holy Week. <laughs> and so I cannot say what I would like to say. Well, can I just quote that there's an old saying, and it's just a historical saying that, and I'm not sure who said it. When fascism comes to America, it will be waving a flag and holding a Bible. Take yeah. a look. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah. That's when pretty... fascism comes to America, it will be hold, waving a flag and holding a Bible. Yeah. That is what we are looking at right now. Yeah. Remember that in November. It's blasphemous. Sonny Hostin's assertion regarding Donald Trump's involvement with selling the Bible could also be interpreted as a critique of the commercialization of sacred texts, suggesting a dilution of religious principles for political advantage. It reflects a concern regarding the sanctity of religious convictions and the potential manipulation of these beliefs for political motives. The exchange between Sonny Host and Joy Behar delves into the interplay of moral indignation and political polarization. Understanding how one's political convictions shape their perception of religious symbols is crucial, as it influences responses to politicians who exploit them.